Hi, little knife review today. Um, thought I'd shoot this outside um, because this is in fact a barbecue knife. Um, it's from Falknevin, it's their Erna model. Um, so as I'm shooting outside, um, excuse me if there's any sort of issues with wind or lighting, um, but we'll see how it goes. So this, as I say, is the Falknevin Erna. It's what they call their mobile barbecue knife. Um, in actual fact, it's, it's a top quality kitchen knife and the unique selling point really is around the sheath and carry pouch, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, which makes it a nice sort of backpackable um, knife. This came direct from Falknevin and uh, in the package, I thought it was quite nice. Got a uh, nice little sticker there, might shove that on the car. And uh, even more fun with some branded um, plasters there. And believe me, you might well need those because this is razor sharp. So, normal white packaging, as you'll find from Falk Nevin. Um, doesn't have the picture of the knife, which is uh, common. Um, has some information on the rear about the warranty and uh, how to look after the knife. And one of the main things with any kitchen knife is uh, don't put it in the dishwasher. Um, my normal kitchen knives are in absolute state. I wouldn't even dream of showing you them. But um, yeah, don't put it in the dishwasher and always cut onto a, a wooden or a, at least a plastic block, um, never glass or anything like that. Okay, so inside the package, we'll get to the unique selling point, which is this rather nice leather zip case. Um, this is reinforced with a, a sort of fairly firm sort of plastic inlay, so it'll protect the knife nicely in there. And in there again, to offer that extra protection, is a soft leather sheath. It just slips off like that. So that's really nice, good for traveling. Um, we'll get in for some proper close-ups of the knife in a minute, but I'll just go over the general features. Um, obviously this is a really nice sort of chef's knife, razor sharp. Um, the blade is seven inches, it's 11 inches overall. The blade is made out of the, uh, the famous Falknevin um, laminated cobalt steel. Uh, when we come in for a little close-up, you'll see the line of lamination. What you'll also see in there is a really perfectly mirror-polished convex edge. Absolutely razor sharp. Um, I don't normally do uh, cut tests in my videos, but I'll, I'll do some uh, a little bit of food prep in a minute. Um, but if you were to sort of put this to a paper slicing test, it push cuts through virtually anything. I can get it to uh, certainly slice the sort of kitchen paper and toilet paper, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, yeah, so that, that's incredibly sharp, beautiful mirror edge, um, and a nice little bit of etching there, which I'll show you on the close-up, which basically says Erna, Folnevin, and uh, the laminated cobalt steel. The handle is a nicely figured uh, curly birch, it's got a, a sort of half tang construction there, not full tang, you know, this isn't a survival or tactical blade, um, so perfectly adequate for uh, kitchen use or barbecue use rather, and it's got three um, steel pins in there, nicely finished. Um, the curly birch, I'll show you the figuring a little bit closely, more closely on the close up, but um, it is rather attractive. It's got a, la uh, a satin um, lacquer on it currently, and I, I hope that sort of polishes up a bit with use, because um, that will really allow the, the figuring to shine through. As you'll see, there's a, a sort of swell, or a sort of nub, if you will, in the middle of the handle there. Um, that fits nicely between your fingers, or you can move back and forth around it. I think probably my preferred positioning is, is two fingers either side of it. Um, probably it'll come through in use, but you know, I, I imagine that really helps with uh, if you've got slick hands, if you've got sort of water or, or sort of food on your hands through the prep. Okay, so uh, let's go in for a little bit of a close up and look at some of the features. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at that case. It's a nice, rich brown leather case, zipped obviously. A tab there, nice bit of branding. 
unzip it. As I say, the lining is uh, fairly simple, but it's got this sort of firm plastic inlay to protect your blade. The sheath is a simple slip sheath, quite lightweight, so pliable leather. Again, nice bit of branding there. Slips off, and then we're onto the blade. As I say, seven inch blade, about 11 inches overall. Nice deep etching there. And coming down there, you can see the lamination and then the mirror polished convex edge. Never had a convex knife before. I think probably what, what I'll do is just keep it in good condition by uh, simply stropping it. Probably use the Lansky guided system um, and making sure I'm only cut, cutting into uh, you know, food. It's not going to be a, a DIY knife or anything like that. And uh, just keep it in, in shape with a bit of stropping. I say the nicely figured curly birch handle there. Get that into focus. Half tang construction. And three pins. Okay, well, let's uh, put it to some use. Okay, let's start off with some salad prep. Okay, just take the blade out. Start with a bit of iceberg lettuce and we'll just slice this up. I'm no chef. No problem at all. Okay, let's give some tomatoes a go. Obviously cutting onto a, uh, a plastic board here, um, wood would be slightly better, but as long as it's not glass and this isn't going in the, uh, in the dishwasher, it's not too bad. Now this isn't a super ripe tomato, so it's not gonna offer much challenge, but let's just see how thin we can cut this. Certainly a very sharp knife. No problems at all there. Effortless. Okay, next up is some chicken fillet and we'll just cut that into a uh, some slices. No problem at all. Perfect for a uh, barbecue prep. Okay, and last of all, let's see how it goes on a nice bit of matured sirloin steak. Again, just cutting it in strips. A bit of sinew in this, but this really is effortless. Okay. Right. Well, I'll get that on the uh, on the grill, I think it is. I won't be barbecuing it today, I don't think, but um, hopefully that shows you a little bit about this knife. Um, it really is a beautiful kitchen knife, and uh, yeah, certainly very good for travel with its case. Um, hopefully you find that useful. Um, if you like the video, please press like, um, and if you are interested in knife reviews, everyday carry kit, um, please take a look at my channel and subscribe. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.